So tonight we're focusing on long arm quilting machines by the Baby Lock Company. And I will tell you that there are so many people that enjoy quilting, but they only quilt the top. And quilting just the quilt top is only half the story. You want to complete the entire book, and that is by quilting it on a long arm. And so many people have been on the fence because long arm machines are kind of daunting, they're expensive. Um, but I will tell you, the Baby Lock Gallant, Baby Lock did it right. They've offered the highest quality long arm machine I've seen at a very attractive price. And I want to spend some time showing the features of this here. In fact, uh, I have someone that's joining me, Kathy Brown from Sewing Tech Talk will be joining me because she is a professional quilter. And uh, she was just she was telling me how impressed she was with how this sews. It compares to professional quilting machines that sell for five, six, seven times the price of this here. So first of all, the Baby Lock Gallant has a 15 inch opening, a throat space here. It's got a, a, a high definition color display stitch regulation modes in two different modes and it has a dedicated bobbin winder. The villa frame that comes with it is an 8 foot frame but it also has an option to make it 10 foot. But let me show you a little bit about this machine and frame. So as you see here this is the villa frame. We have 8 feet of space but also we can make it 2 foot larger. Okay, so that's 10 feet. 10 feet is suitable to do a, a, a large king or queen uh, uh, quilt. But the thing about this frame has to start with the how easy it makes this machine move. This machine is on several precision ball bearing wheels and it moves so freely. And then also they have their uh, highly rated stitch regulating system. These are sensor encoders that sense the movement of this here and adjust the stitch length so that you have consistent stitching at all time. In fact, Kathy's going to show you about that. But as we look at this frame, let's talk about the frame itself. What's unique about this frame is the back bar has what's called an idler bar. Okay, And we'll look at the machine a little uh, later. But if you look here, this is actually makes it so that all your fabric builds up here. And the benefit of that is that it doesn't interfere with the bed of the machine. There's a lot of frames out there you have to constantly adjust up because the fabric is building up here. So this right here, this idle bar, is what you find on some of the bigger machines. Also, if you look at the front of this here, this area right here is more of a clear view design. Now, it could, this frame can be assembled uh, where that you have the traditional bars on the top here, but I have seen no advantage at that at all. And so, uh, because this right here is it's much easier to work with rulers. Now, let's look at the whole uh, frame itself here. You know, one of the things about doing a, a frame and a machine is assembly. How do I assemble this? Well. This uh, Baby Lock has contracted with the Built Company, and I have on my phone here the app from Built. Now, this right here has step-by-step -step animated guides, as you see here, where we'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to assemble this through every bolt, even uh, uh, putting on the, the uh, quilt fabric. It is truly a unique system and allows it so that anybody can assemble this because as we're going to mention we can ship this machine nationwide and so this truly is a, a plug-and-play system. Now the other thing about this frame it's made of steel construction so a lot of your basic model frames are made of aluminum uh, and they're not near as sturdy and that's important for the maneuverability of this and we can adjust it at different heights. We can, we can lower this so that you can sit to it as well as stand to it. Now we come around to the front of the machine, we have the handles here. The handles control the display and I can rotate to the different icons on the display by just connecting and touching the different uh, uh, handle icons. And I can open up to the different uh, stitch regulating modes. Like I can open up between precision, uh, there's cruise and there's manual, but also I can go into precision and adjust my stitch length. And so you have all those controls right at the handles of the machine. So with all that being said, I can talk until I'm blue in the face about how this machine's made, but I want to bring in an expert quilter to give her opinion on this here. So let's bring in Kathy Brown. Kathy, come and join us. Thank you, George. Now, this machine truly indeed has different types of stitch regulation. For you as a quilter, that's a big deal. It has precision, 
which means when you stop moving the machine, it stops stitching. It has crews. That means when you stop stitching the machine, you can tell it how fast, but it will continue to stitch a little bit. Believe it or not, there's a time for that that you're going to use it when you're quilting. It also has a manual mode, which means it's not stitching and stitch regulation. You set it for a certain speed, and then you match the machine. Believe it or not, there's a time when you might want that. So let's talk about precision. What precision means is when you stop moving the machine, it's going to stop sewing. Now, I use that uh, when I do ruler work. Ruler work is a great way to get a precision design on the machine because you're using a ruler to help you guide. So a ruler work uses a ruler base. This attaches to the free arm of the machine. It's really easy to put on, and it gives me a flat base. We're going to do ruler work in just a little bit, but don't forget you're going to need this to do ruler work. Now, precision means that when I stop moving the machine, it's going to like freeze. It's like playing freeze tag with some kindergartners. So when I start the machine and I move it, it's going to stitch. I go slow, it goes slow. I go fast, it goes fast. 1,800 stitches a minute, my friends. So it does an incredible job. But when I stop, it literally is going to stop stitching until I move the handle again, which is super responsive. George is right. This frame is the bomb. It's steel. It's sturdy. It's adjustable. You want a frame that is going to stand up, not only to the test of time, but when you want your when you put your quilt on there, you want it to stay rock solid, and this frame gives you that. So the machine is still on. I'm not moving it, but when I do move it, it stitches. I use this when I'm doing ruler work. Now, there's another mode that's called cruise. And what cruise does is when I stop moving the machine, it's going to continue to sew. Why do I want that? Well, say you're doing a pointy point. When you come up to that point in precision and you stop moving the machine, you may be needle up, you may be needle down, you may need an extra stitch there to get that super pointy point. That's what Cruise gives to you. So I'm going to switch it over to Cruise and let's see what that looks like. So now I've switched it over to the Cruise setting. And what I can do in the Cruise setting is I not only can select stitches per inch, but I can tell it how fast I want it to stitch when I'm not moving. I've selected a very low setting to show you what I'm talking about. So now when I hit go, it still operates in stitch regulation. But when I stop, it's going to continue to stitch. I've asked it to stitch very slow. So I'm going to come up to my point wait for it, wait for it. That's that extra stitch and I get an absolute razor sharp point because it needs that extra stitch to form that point at the corner. So that's great. It works good. You're going to use that when you're doing some freehand, doing designs when you have the pointy points. Now, what if you want to do a stipple? That's when I use the manual setting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch now in the cruise mode, and I want you to listen to the machine. What happens when you're doing a stipple is you're quickly changing direction. Now this machine is super responsive. The stitch regulation system, excellent. But I'm the one that's changing speeds quickly. And when I'm doing a stipple, what's going to happen, it's going to, the machine's sensing that, and it's changing really, really fast. So listen to the machine, because it's going to be cycling different, and I'm going to show you how I can fix that in manual. Let's go. Did you hear the machine? It was going fast, it was going slow, because I was going fast and slow, and it was responding to me. What I like to do when I'm doing a stipple is I like to change the machine into manual mode, lower the frame, pull up a chair, pour myself a nice big glass of iced tea with a long straw, and just have a great time doing a stipple, but I have the machine set at the same speed. I enjoy that. You might take some practice to get good at that because you're matching your speed to the machine. But the beautiful thing about a long arm, if you haven't played on a long arm yet, when you're stitching on a regular domestic machine, think of yourself as moving the paper and not the pencil. When you're stitching on a long arm, 
you're using these muscles like you were handwriting. It's super easy to change over to doing a long arm because it's easy to move and you're using the memory that's already in your machine to get the design that you want. So let me change it over to manual and I'll show you what it sounds like when I do a stipple. Okay, now, so I changed over to the manual mode. Now remember, manual mode means that what I'm doing is I've selected the number of stitches per minute that I want, not the stitch regulation length, because I'm the regulation length. And I've also switched over and I've put on the machine the open toe foot that comes with the machine. That gives me greater visibility when I'm doing my, my stipple, because I'm gonna do a little tiny stipple. Now I want you to hear the machine. It's gonna stay at a consistent speed. Remember, I could be pulling up a chair because the frame is height adjustable, and I could just be sitting there enjoying my stipple process. Let's go. See how that's a nice, even stitch? Now, I put it really slow. The great thing about this machine also is there's a big variation, not only in the stitch length, but in the speed that you can go. So if you're new and you're scared and you don't wanna go too fast, it's okay, she's okay with you. Once you get good, you can ramp up your speed and you can finish those quilts pretty fast. So let's increase the speed and let me show you what that looks like. Simply clicking on the button, I've changed the speed in the machine. Now let's see how this sounds. Did you see how the machine went faster and faster? Because I can switch the speed right when I'm quilting. I have access to those controls right at my fingertips. So if I'm doing something where I want to go a little bit faster, I bump up the speed. If I want to go a little bit slower, I simply make this, the stitches per minute go slower. So this machine super responsive to what you need and you can do whatever type of quilting you need for your design. Now, ease of quilting, stitch, beautiful stitches is one thing, but how do you get a really cool design? And what if you want to do some decorative stuff? Well, this machine, you can get some accessory feet for it and do fun things. We can put a couching foot on this machine, which means that I can uh, attach yarns, all kinds of fun stuff to get a three-dimensional look to my quilt. Like I mentioned before, you can also do ruler work. Now, ruler work is, uh, is a process where I'm using the ruler to help me guide the foot. I can get excellent designs, no computer needed, because it's helping me guide the machine. So let's put that couching foot on, see what that looks like. Let's do some fun, fancy stuff with some yarn. So I put the couching foot on. Now the couching feet come in a set of three, because yarns come in all different sizes. So the couching feet come in a set of three and each of the feet have a slightly different hole to fit their yarn. You want the foot that fits the yarn snugly but yet, it flow, but yet lets it flow through. So I pulled them all out and I put one on the machine and here they are. They have the different size holes. I generally put the yarn through the hole before I put it on the machine but I've done that. So here we are. Now let's see what this looks like. It's really fun. You're going to pull out the yarn, give yourself lots of yarn, and it's going to automatically feed when you stitch. Let's see what that looks like. Isn't that fun? Look how fun that is. Can you imagine that that's gonna add some incredible dimension to your quilts? You could applique down with it. I've seen it done where you've had a flower and you put this in the center of it to get that flower three dimension. So the couching foot, super, super fun. Oh, uh, you might have a yarn fetish to go to the yarn store and get some all kinds of fun stuff to add to your quilting. Now let's revisit that one topic that's super important to all of us quilters. The machine's gonna make the stitch look perfect but we want it to be pretty, don't we? So that's where you, ruler work is your friend. Ruler work lets you get precise designs by using the, the ruler to help you guide the foot steady. So let me change over to the ruler foot and get a ruler, 
put that ruler base on and let me show you how you can get some precision quilting where you're moving the machine and you don't necessarily need a computer for it. Now, I put the ruler base on and I've put the ruler foot on and the ruler foot comes in a set and the set comes with four different feet. Each foot is progressively larger and there's the regular one, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Why do you need that? Well, if you're doing, say you're doing a circle as a ruler, it's really hard to get a perfect circle when you're doing a uh, long arm work because it's just, it's just, it's going to come out like an oval. But with a ruler, you can do a perfect circle. It's going to help you guide that foot in a perfect circle, and you'll end where you started out with. But if you have a circle, let's say a two-inch diameter circle, what if you want a bigger one? Well, you can use the larger feet that have a bigger diameter to make one template do the work of four. Now, let's take a look at that ruler foot and see how special it is. Here's my regular foot. I hope you can see that. There's my regular foot that comes with the machine. The ruler foot is a little bit different. It comes with a base that goes on the machine. I've already put that on. But if you can see how much thicker that foot is than the standard foot. Also, it has an opening. Not only can I get my thread through there, but when I want to change from this foot to the wider foot, I can slide it on and off and not break my thread. That's super key when I'm doing ruler work. So let's see what that looks like. Let's take these away. Now here's the ruler that I'm going to use. It is a quarter inch thick because it fits right up against that thicker foot. And I'm going to hold it down. Notice I have my... Um, ruler base on. This gives me stability. If I didn't have the ruler base on, my ruler would rock and roll. So I'm going to put it on there. I have the machine in precision so I can stop and think about what I'm doing. So let's see what that looks like. I'm going to start the machine and just move it gently against this ruler. And I get a perfect arc. I'm still on. I'm still in precision. Let's do another and let's make the flower petal. Look how perfect my stitches are. Look how perfect my shape is. So I can do a perfect design with very minimal effort. I just need the ruler that helps me get there. And with the ruler foot set, each template gives me multiple sizes that I can use. You can do echo quilting. It's pretty cool when you have the match set that works for you and what you want to do. So a long arm, if you haven't stitched with a long arm, quilting is so much simpler than it is on a traditional machine. Now, this machine comes with different size frames, and you can get the one that fits you, but I think this machine is going to be the affordable answer to the person who has been thinking about a long arm, but didn't want to commit to the big, big machine with all the bells and whistles. It's really simple to operate. And that's key. When you're learning how to do this, you don't want to have to fuss over, can I work it? So George, I think they're going to probably want to adopt a Gallant. Do you have a special? I know you do. Now, one thing both Kathy and myself forgot to mention is that the Gallant comes with a standalone bobbin winder. I love this because so many of your quilting machines, they've put the bobbin winder on the machine. And the problem is, is that gives the potential of the thread getting tangled while you're sewing. So this, this, this machine, first of all, the machine has that commercial M-class bobbin system, which is the all steel bobbin system, but it has bobbins that are much larger. And so you can wind bobbin after bobbin, getting ready for your project with this included standalone bobbin winder. So isn't the Gallant an amazing machine? And we've got an amazing special on this here. So the total package would normally retail for $68.99. And that right there is far less than most any other long arm machine and frame out there, even with, if, with these features. Uh, but now it's on sale for $49.99. And we have interest-free payments of $208 a month interest-free. 
Now you can change that villa frame from an eight foot to a 10 foot with a two foot adapter and that's available for $495. This machine is available to be shipped across the country. So we're offering free shipping in, in the, the contiguous United States. Alaska and Hawaii is slightly more, but still very reasonable. But this is anniversary sale time and we do have a special bonus with this at the same price. So both the a kit of accessory feet that was shown by Kathy, the couching uh, foot kit, also the, the echo and ruler foot kit, the, uh, also the ruler uh, base is all included. We're also including a selection of long arm needles and bobbins, those large bobbins. We're including an eight pack of Madeira Era quilt thread, which is beautiful thread for this uh, machine, as well as a starter kit that has batting and fabric and more thread. Also, you have six months online training with the Baby Lock uh, Love of Knowledge program, and that's included. And so this total value is $945 included free with the purchase here. So this is your chance to, to get off the fence and start quilting with a long arm machine. You know you've been looking at them for years, you've been watching them on at quilt shows. Now there's a high quality one for under $5,000 and that is amazing. So give us a call at 1-800-865-9664.